yeah, woo! Paul Schneider is religious about going to the gym. Let's go, three, two, three. As the 33-year-old tries to shed 30 pounds. For me, it's been a, it's been a journey. He Let's admits 15, talking four. about his goals hasn't been easy. There's the stigma, there's the shame around it. How I felt shame about that bar, my body before, yes. Joseph Arboleda Velasquez has had some of the same feelings. Just a little bit more. And frustrations. As I grow older, now I'm 47, it's just becoming more difficult. Weight loss is something um, that a lot of men are spending a lot of time thinking about. Hearst-owned Men's Health magazine is exploring how men struggle with their weight in the current issue. They surveyed 1,500 men and found that 57% are trying to lose weight. I think we weren't expecting that number to be so high. The scale of dissatisfaction was a surprise to executive editor Ben Court. A third of the men surveyed saying they're not happy with their weight and 70% saying they're self-conscious about their body. That embarrassment or even shame can drive men to the gym to lose weight, but experts say that many men face pressures they may not even realize. Especially men now that are in their 40s or older, you know, growing up, a lot of them were told to just kind of keep their emotions inside, you know, not to talk about things. And Tufts so really Medical Center psychiatrist Dr. Like, Michelle de Blasi says breaking down mental barriers surrounding weight and body image can be key. When we start to talk about it, you start to feel a little bit less ashamed about it and then start to kind of problem solve. I think people are talking about it a lot more. Bron Volney um, has seen more of his clients at his Boston gym open up about their struggles. The support aspect outside of here is, I think it's, that's huge. Tight shoulders. For Paul, the weight loss journey continues. I think it's a gradual progression to get to where people look good, feel good. And for Joseph, <sighs> motivation and determination came from his family. I want to like be a good model for my sons. I have two boys. He's now down 35 pounds. I feel great now. And working every day <laughs> to maintain his focus. Thanks, How about that? John Atwater, WCVB <laughs> News Center 5. How about that? That's great. Two other interesting results according to the survey. 14% of men have taken a weight loss drug with Gen Xers most likely to use them. When it comes to feeling pressure to lose weight, Gen Zers feel the most while baby boomers feel the least. Men's Health, by the way, is owned by our parent company, Hearst. You can take a deeper dive into their survey by going to our website, wcvb.com or our WCVB app.